am Kurt Warner's Rainbow Ring on the draw play. Target to 9999 here on YouTube. And this is week nine of the 2017 Arena Football League season. Or at least my recap of it. The first, both games had to happen tonight at 7 p.m. And hi, Dinko Kiyo's face. <laughs> I'll start that one. But hopefully that comes a meme. Ugh. But, sir, but yeah, the Valor. Anyways, yeah, the Valor lost if you watch that video. Fifth, the final score is 59 35. At one point it was 59 21. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sure, it was 53 21, but that's still, that's still hilarious. Cleveland can't win a single close game. Will they finally win a game? They win by like 50. We'll leave it to, leave it to Gino Smith, the linebacker, or Brill Nell, aka Brill, aka by his real name, Avril Nelson, the quarterback for the Cleveland Larrys, who is extremely wishy-washy. If he's playing Philadelphia or Baltimore, he's terrible. If he's playing Tampa Bay or what, he's fantastic. The problem? Tampa Bay has their own fantastic quarterback. Thanks to the injury of Eric Meyer, Mr. Sean Brackett from Columbia is not that Mr. is not that fantastic. Speaking of Mr. Randy Hipper, he was he played a pretty bad night tonight, but somehow Thanks to an improved storm defense by the signing of Greg Reed, not no relation to me. Um, he was he is the former the former, former Jacksonville Shark, led the defense in charge, although he had no interceptions, as the storm limited the Baltimore Brigade at home to only 33 points while scoring 47 on their own. And guess who's now only guess who's now only four games away from breaking Mr. Damian Harrell's all-time arena league? Touchdown record, at least in terms of, you know, games in a row with touchdown. That one individual, Joe Hills. He can, he got his 75th straight game with a receiving touchdown. Congratulations, Mr. Hills. As for the Valor, well, yeah. <laughs> they fall to 1-7. and seven. Uh, if, Yeah, they fall to 1-6 and six at their halfway mark. At their starting season, so nicely 1-0 and oh and completely hailing Baltimore. But like I say the Valor... Tough luck. That's the arena way, fella. That is what happens in the Arena Football League. Sorry, Mr. Co and Dean Kokinos. How you enjoy being back? Oh, I gosh, that face. That's like a Steve, that's like Steve Spurrier back in 002 with the with the uh, skins when he was when they were playing the Eagles. I can't even imagine what kind of face Kokino makes when Laval get killed by the soul and I wanna say two weeks from now. Oh, this big was going to happen a couple weeks from now. This is when the game that truly matters is going to happen. Keep your eyes on it. Tampa Bay Storm at Philadelphia Soul. I know it's a couple weeks away. I believe it's the... Let me check the schedule real quick. Here it is. It is next week, Saturday, June 17th at 7 p.m. on CBS Sports Network. Here we go. Tampa Bay Storm at Philadelphia Soul. That is one. That is going to be the key, the key game right there. If Tampa Bay and Philly win, both teams will be headed into the matchup, basically clocked in for home games. For locked in for home games, and that's going to be game two of three in a series that's going to, that could decide who gets the number one overall seed and probably, again, down, barring major upset, will host the Arena Bowl come August 29th, I want to say? Let me check down here. Yes, I'm on Arena. Uh, August 26th. That's going to be a key day. That's going to be the key day right there. There we go, Philly. Back to this week. And we're speaking of Philly, they were on by this week because they say 7-0. Tampa Bay with their 47-33 win over the Brigade. Jump up to 6-1. Again, that, I cannot wait till next week. When I cannot wait till June 17th, two weeks from now, when Philadelphia battles Tampa for what's possibly a one seed in this, in this small arena league. The second big thing that's going to happen soon, rather than later, will feature... I mean, but let's go on to this next week's games, though. <laughs> Philadelphia, before they can get to that magical clash with Tampa, will have their own sort of mini clash, if you will, with a with a Cleveland Gladiator team they're playing for the third time. And guess who's Comcast? It's not just Comcast or Arena League Live. No, no, Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. <laughs> Why Twitter? I don't know, but yeah, don't Twitter spin me a couple of Arena League games? That's kind of cool. Um, yeah. Um. And the other game, the CBS Sports Network game for next week, will be Washington heading back to Tampa. And the last time these two teams clashed, the oldest player in the league, 
well, the legendary T.T. Tolliver got hurt. I believe it. I'm not, I don't remember how it was, but I know he always on IR. And at 40 years old, coming up when you got guys half your age playing the league, coming up IR is nigh impossible. Ignore that sound. I just dropped something. Uh, so I got, second. So if you read the comment on the draw play, if you read the draw play, just click on that. The most recent comic. I made a big old description about why, about T.T. Tolliver. Probably about a very basic summary of his career. Um, but yeah. Again, no game footage this week. Big bet to big blowout like last year, although 24 and 14 are big blowouts, but Tampa Bay was ahead two possessions pretty much since the, since the first snap. Wow. Especially with a lot of cool bar balls. Like even the, I mean, even the first play of the third quarter where, where again, Mark Lewis, he can't make extra points as a kicker for the storm, but he can sure get the ball to bounce perfectly at the bar, the bounce off the net, perfectly in the hands of a storm player. Every single time, almost every single time. It's awesome. And that's, he's the best defensive player in the storm. And the guy who got the second oldest player in the league, Alvin Ray Jackson, just sort of scooped it up and bobbled it for two seconds, fell on the ball before on the ball roll out. But he was about the time the ball rolling, he was in the end zone. And that gave Tampa a 21 point lead, which they basically maintained the rest of the way. And I didn't see, I didn't know, I was watching both simultaneously. I was paying more attention to the val to my grandmother's puppies, because my grandma was at a play and we're neighbors. <laughs> my grandmother next to our neighbors, so. I watch her puppies for her when she's not there. But anyways, I was more paying attention to my grandma's puppies than that than the Valor uh, Cleveland game. All I know is that Valor did really well. Uh, Cleveland did pretty well, and that's sort of in the cycle, which might be finalized next. Which I believe will be finalized. Which I guess I can go over now. It's a simple three-way cycle, and it, it goes as such: Cleveland beats Washington, Washington beats Baltimore, Baltimore beats Cleveland. Everybody loses Tampa, and Tampa, hopefully hopefully not, loses to Philly. And Tampa and Philly beats them all, too. But yeah, uh, I went over a cycle. Dean Kokinos pulled off a Steve Spurrier. Joe Hills extended his streak. Alvarez Jackson sort of muffled a bumble. Bumble the muffle, fumble, the bumble. Mark Lewis hit the netball. I'm starting like nothing. And that is Week 9's Arena League Football Recap. See you next week.